arthroscopic observation and probing into the popliteal meniscal fascicle area would be helpful. Hypermobility of the lateral meniscus can be observed via arthroscopic probing where the lateral meniscus excurses more than half of the lateral meniscus. The popliteal meniscal fascicle tear is checked up again at posterolateral compartment. Using the probe, we determine the laxity and tear length of capsule. First of all, boundary of popliteal hiatus should be observed via probing. With a 70 degrees arthroscope rounding through the anteromedial portal, visualizing the popliteal meniscal fascicle tear, we maneuver the curved suture hook with a PDS number 0. The PDS number 0 was then passed up through the tear area from below, after which a suture retriever could be used to retrieve the upper leg of the suture via posterolateral portal. After the repair, we check up the stability of the lateral meniscus using the probe. If the tear extends forward, it can be repaired by inside-out technique. After all procedures are done, we can observe the narrowing of popliteal hiatus.